How crazy uh, did you get with spending money at a certain point when all of a sudden you're making like $10 million yeah. a year? I, I imagine for a young dude that didn't shit. really have much that it's got to be. Bro, a, I was running through that shit, bro. I ain't going to lie to you, bro. Like, my my first, like, six, seven years, bro, I ain't say shit. Really? <laughs> I'm going to be real with you, bro. I was... I was living, I was taking care of the fam, I was taking care of the homies, cars, clothes, trips, clubs. Right. And I was having it. Yeah. And that's how I was living, bro. So yeah. I, it didn't click on until I was like 27, 28, bro. Yeah. It clicked on like, ooh, I had a kid, my firstborn. I'm like, ooh. Yeah. That's what I really think changed my life, bro, my first kid, bro. In 2015, having my first son, mm. that's when I was, I, I really tightened up, bro. And I'm glad, see, a lot of, a lot of motherfuckers really didn't catch it before it was too late. Mm. Like I caught my, my I, I caught my my fuck ups from my problems before I got to that. I was I was still making eight to ten a year, nigga. When I was yeah, yeah, like, all right, all right, yeah, instead yeah, of blowing yeah. this whole five seven million, yeah, could put half yeah, up and then yeah, up to that with the rest. Yeah, yeah, like that's yeah, yeah. what started really clicking in. Right? <laughs> Did you uh? What was the main you were wasting money on? Man, for real, like car, probably like cars, partying, jewelry, trips, all, all the traveling, uh, all the shit. hotels, the. Shit, the shit. Doing smoking, partying like were you going to clubs? Thirty thousand, sixty thousand, really in a yeah. night. Yeah, God damn. <laughs> as I said, all the ballish. Yeah, you ain't never did yeah. that one. Nah, you ain't got your yeah. big one off yet. Nah, thirty k in a night. Nah, he ain't f- nah, right. me. That's why he <laughs> keep it in like that. I, ain't gonna lie, I, I think whatever I, the season eighty was kind of pushing it, but probably like the most I done probably spent in the club one night was probably like like like. 23, under 30, though. Is it worth it because you get so many oh, from man, that's that's not, worth it. That's And the homies <laughs> irritate you. No if, disrespect to the women, but I don't give a f- bro. If I got to go blow a bag for you to feel like I'm cool in the party with me, I don't want you. Mm. Oh. Gee, shit, I'm cool, bro. So for me, yeah. fuck no, that shit wasn't worth it, bro. I was having fun, and it was the cool thing to do because you in the club, everybody else doing it, so shit, I'm going to do it too. Oh, they just yeah. spent 10? Yeah. Let me go spend 20 real quick because yeah. I had it. I'm popping yeah. it. You tell me if I'm wrong, but I feel like that's especially a thing with athletes fuck because yeah. it's like you're super rich, you're very, very famous to a certain percentage of people, but to the other percentage of people, they don't really know who the fuck you are. So it's like you, you, it's not like being a rapper where it's like, if you're French Montana and you blow up, everybody fucking instantly yeah. recognizes you everywhere sure, you go. Yeah, yeah, All yeah. your, your greatest moments are done with a big fucking helmet on your head. It's yeah, kind of yeah. like a weird dynamic. Tell me, yeah. is, is that accurate? Hell yeah. Cause, uh, I don't know. For some reason, though, a lot of people know me though. Right. Like, it's cause I, you during, always popped out. Yeah. During, uh, uh, what's this COVID shit? When you had to wear all these magic mm-hmm. shit, bro, I would literally be like, had on, <laughs> Beanie on, uh, ski, uh, the ski mask on, they, they, mask they, they, on, glasses on, and niggas still being able to tell it's me, bro. Yeah. Like you I've heard that from a lot of that people. That shit crazy, yeah. bro. Like, I'll be like, how the fuck this nigga know it was me, bro? Yeah. But it's hard. It's like, for me, bro, I don't know. I think my face is like, and I didn't did the, I had my own show on BET. Mm. You know, I go to the BET Awards. Like, I feel like I'm more a part of that, like, rapping culture. Because, mm. like, my lifestyle, how I grew up is like, is really like a rapper, bro. Like I ain't like yeah I grew up playing sports and playing ball but like I, I like I I don't know bro I gravitate to like more street shit bro like I really come from the streets and I'm not saying that to like you know make myself like no tip like but at the end of the day bro I I grew up on principles I was raised by like real reptables you know what I'm saying I got real relationships with real OG homies like I was really raised right bro you feel what I'm saying I I credit my OGs and my my big homies around me bro because. A lot of these dudes now, bro, they making money, they they getting famous, and they coming to L.A. and paying fees to go throw up hoods and bang now. It's like, bro, like, that's, and he could tell, that's not, that ain't cool, bro. That like, that straight. perception of, like. You see who they're paying the fee to, right? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir, ski. I love it. 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 I'm just trying to contribute to the brick lore. Hey, look, there's, there's a legend about nah, them look, building. I, no, it, you're right, but like, when, when people, when, look, <laughs> when, you G right. shit don't, no, I'm, what I'm saying you right too is like, when people come to LA and they do connect with certain individuals, bro, it's like, it's like you tapped in with certain individuals, bro. You you doing what you supposed to do. Like if I'm gonna go somewhere, I'm gonna tap in with real reputables too. Cause like I'm not from Chicago, I'm not from Houston. Like if I go to Houston, I'm, I'm tapping in with Jay Prince. Yeah, you know what I'm sure. saying. I, I I go to certain areas, uh, uh, Atlanta or certain. I'm just tapping yeah. with what I know who respectable out there, bro. For and sure. it, it don't. I just would rather know. 
And if I'm out and I'm around this certain situation or something go down, I could tap into some real people to know what the fuck going on. Yeah. That don't mean you paying a motherfucker or you doing something. I'm yeah. just locked in and I'm yeah. I'm building. Or I got relationships where I know niggas going to look out for me if it be That's a real situation. Like everybody say it's some money going on. Like, bro, I just, if I know you, I really care for you. I'm going to just tell you like, hey, even if you don't pull up on me, if you don't got it all, you just like stay out of here. Yeah. Don't be over here. Just do your thing and I wish a lot of, and I, I wish you a know? lot of these athletes are highly in more to certain individuals yeah. that like really be knowing people yeah. out here, bro. Cause I got a lot of relationships, like, you know, the little homie that uh that got robbed from um I don't know if you heard the the Rams player. He he was going into a hotel and they they robbed him, took his chain off him. That's great. It happened like a few months ago and like I played with him last year when I was in Baltimore. But like little situations like that, just tap yeah, in like, with, with certain things yeah. that you know is out here that you know, and I can't say just because you do tap happen. in to yeah. certain individual shit ain't going to happen, but it's but like still, like he just said, like don't go here. Or if you go here, make somebody, sure somebody with you that got armed security license. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you just got to be strategic. Nine like, times out of ten, the flashy shit out here is not where you want to be at. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Go find you somewhere ducked off, low key, and kick it right there. They got a lot of boutique hotels that people need to check into when they in LA if they not in the Airbnb. You know? Mm. That's like not on the main line and all that. He said, mm. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Well, yeah, I mean, we've, we've, we've learned that lesson over, over time for sure. Yeah. Be careful how you come to LA. Exactly. You see? Exactly. Did you see that one video uh, where the dude was walking in, he had his coffee and the dude hopped over his fence and Yeah, he blew, he blew, he was like an owner of some club or, or some shit, right? And they said they took his gun permit away because of it. Yeah, that's which is kind of crazy because he's. Why like, they take his? He got a gun wow. permit for it. He owned I mean, his property. Yeah, he's in his house. They do like, had guns out. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, nobody really understands. I I, I should read into it to At figure out why. That's crazy. That's sick, bro. I see that you've been dropping music though, man. Like man, I see that on. you always you you. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about how much money you, you did. Let's talk about speaker on this motherfucker. Yeah, play, man. Come on, man. We gonna get the links and all that. Listen. You've been in the music industry for a minute. People really don't know that, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, like, what made you start betting on yourself? Or you want to speak on your journey? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, appreciate you even allowing that, though, you know, and even bringing that up because I feel like, you know, I done crossed paths with a lot of, you know, talented people that I still want to shed light on regardless if we still in a contract or, you know, we, we not really working together. Uh, we working together, you know what I'm saying? Because if yeah. I invested in you, Regards to anything, bro, I, I want to see you win. Me. Like I got love for every person that I ever put any money into. Sure. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, the original jackpot, man, rest in peace, my my, my brother, Kid Cali. Um, you know, he lost rest his life, peace. you know, a few Brody. years ago at a party, man, on some on some crazy shit. Um, but but Kid Cali, rest in peace, Kid Cali. Uh, my my brother, T Ron. Um, you know, he he in jail right now fighting the case. That you know, hopefully they free my bro and he come on to his family. He got kids. Um, shit, shout Rudy out Ray, out shout out Rudy Ray, uh, shout out Marcus Benz, man. shout out uh, uh, Aunt Mac, Rudy Heen, uh, man, shit, Young Chris, Glasses Malone, like, like yeah. I done, I done helped so many people, bro. Uh, you know, to to recently, uh, Thirsty P, yeah, my brother Thirsty P, um, shout out dead Thirsty homie, P. Shout, shout out Thirsty P, P. you know, Thirsty, um, my 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 little Brody, um, Billy Boy Brody. Yeah, Billy Boy. Billy Boy, you know yeah, Billy Boy yeah, Brody. Yeah, yeah, uh, shout yeah. out Billy Boy, man. He gonna do his thing. Armani J. Uh -huh. Shit, bro. I own it, bro. I, I got. Man, I don't even yeah. want to leave everybody out, bro. Because yeah. I know this interview gonna drop. They go like, oh, bro, you yeah, let me out, man. You on the yeah. hottest motherfucker podcast. Yeah, yeah. you feel what I'm saying? Got my You're little heard. bro Jid and Quan. Shit, yeah. man. You know we gonna keep X four. You know, so for me, bro, uh, I done invested a lot into music first yeah. and foremost. Um. Have I made money off of music? No, I ain't made money back yet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But for, for for business, bro, you know, sometimes things don't happen that way. But I feel like this music shit going to come back some type of way, bro. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And when I say a lot of money, I done put millions into that music shit. Jack Parry, I done put millions into it, bro. And you know what I'm saying? I ain't really, you know, at the point. I ain't, I can't say I ain't made nothing back, but I ain't made nowhere near yeah, what I put into it. Because, you know, yeah. I done made a few, you know, a few yeah. tools here and there. But, um. It's a weird business because if you if you sign one it person and becomes that, a superstar, you make up all that, right? True, but it's it's I wouldn't say it's a weird business, but for an athlete 
music could be tricky. Mm. Be and the reason why I say that is because, and he can speak on that. I feel like music industry people don't take athletes serious. You know why? Yeah. Because they feel like they portraying, they trying to be a rapper, or they got money and they just want to throw money around. You know what I'm saying? So you really at a default. It's, it's only certain few <clears throat> ra uh, athletes like Dame, Shaq, certain few athletes that's really, uh, Amon Shumpert, that's really respected in the music industry. Mm, so for yeah. me, that is a good point. I kind of had to realize that. that like a lot of my, relationships, like I got real time relationships with, 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 sure. with, with um, Birdman, Slim, um, uh, Q, QC, you know, yeah, uh, P sure, over there. P. Like, I, like yeah. I, I, I got a lot of relationships and they respect me because for one, I grew up, was raised high am streets, you know what I'm saying? And for two, they love who I was on the field. Cause like if you if you really ask people like who Deshaun Jackson, like you would say like Michael Vick, uh Allen Iverson, like that's that that era I fall into. Cause you know I come from the streets, tattoos, I'm a little little dude, you know what I'm saying? So it's like when I pop in, you gonna always get respect from certain individuals because like, they know like oh he connected yeah, in with yeah, LA. Yeah, yeah. You're real you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, Just because sure. of who a nigga fuck with, yeah, bro. Yeah, for sure. Out the rip. Can you imagine how crazy it would be if you had like a, a star NBA player or some shit who also was like a star rapper at the same time? Except that should be every it's rapper every rapper talks it's about shit that you wouldn't be allowed to say. Yeah, 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 yeah that's why that's yeah, why it's really it's really hard. Yeah. And like if you analyze Dame Dame Dollar, his his music. He don't. He ain't really talk. He just see like with me. I can talk shit and rap because I lived that life. Yeah. Like I'm not per perpetrating or like portraying a life that I ain't lived. Like I'm gonna talk about the women, the money, the cars, the houses, but, the clothes, like the trips. Like I'm talking about shit. I'm living. You, I ain't portraying shit. You could make a song like Three One Zero Baby just made the true, true. Let me see. But you couldn't be a little dirty. Yeah, yeah. You couldn't be a little dirty, but <laughs> yeah, like no, they, can't be not, 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 not. But you, it's gonna be hard. How the fuck you, would you do it though? Saying, and, though and one of those NBA people. Go tour. No, but I'm just saying they they oh, yeah. can you hop in the lane of females only like party little music real quick. You know what I'm saying? They can do that because a, a lot of star music. rappers will go months and months and months without doing shit. But it's kind of rare. Like if you're on the come up. You're on the move. You're touring. Yeah. You're doing whatever. Like, yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah. it would no be like possible. it would be so insane to be I'm, able to balance the two. Imagine telling your team that you finna go man, perform, go out, do man. this. Oh, yeah. You yeah. can't do that. You making too much for one. Yeah, like, hey, Dame yeah. Dash, you making too much money playing NBA. So it's, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It ain't Any time you put work. into your music career would be a fucking waste in comparison. Yeah. Yeah, if you're doing right. it to have fun, you enjoying it. That's what it's for. But for me, like I say, I enjoy it. I have fun. It's a passion. You know what I'm saying. And, and I feel like rap. I'm hard at that shit. And I, I I got my own little swag. They be saying it's like a little, like it's a nip, like you know it's a West nip or some shit like that. But like I feel like if I if I was compared to anybody, it'd be like an Easy E sound. Mm, like that's yeah. how my, I got like a high push, high pitch, like Easy E voice on. Yeah, 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 yeah. 